<laughs> you watch out, you little rascals. Wait till I catch you. Wow, did you see his face? Yeah, it was so easy to trick him. Shoot ship, shoot ship. Oops, got to go before I get into trouble. See you. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's just for the day. We need to help an old elephant who is rather ill. The trip is too long for Apu and Hita. It's awfully sweet of you to stay with them. No problem at all. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Are you ready? Shall we play? Where? Play what? Mowgli, can you keep an eye on Q-Chip for me? Just until this evening, he's been awfully difficult at the moment. He refuses to listen. I'm in such a rush. I've got so much to do. I'll never manage with that kid under my roof. Thank you for your help. Oh, we'll have great fun with him. He has the best ideas for games. Yes. <laughs> 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 I cut that out, Tricky. <laughs> Tickles, stop. Don't you start to. Everybody calm down. How about going to the river? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I've been invited to an exceptional hunt. Can I leave Chota with you, Mowgli? <sighs> What a baby. The more the merrier. You can go ahead and hunt. Come along, Chota. <laughs> Chota, we've discussed this. You are too little to go hunting with me. You were so scared. Well, they could hear your teeth chattering right on the other side of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no! You two stop that! No fighting! And you, come back here! to look after these little monsters. I'm not coping very well at all. Where are their parents? They couldn't take care of them today, so they asked me to babysit. And those kids are driving you mad. Is that it? We'll sort this out, won't we, Bagheera? Yes, they'll be on their best behavior. Trust us. <laughs> now, children, calm down. Do stop running about like that. Now, will you stop? <laughs> I said, calm down. Let me see some self-control. You, come here. You, climb back down. Look, a morpho. <laughs> ah, all big cats come a cropper now and then. Uh, children, no fall down. Stop being such a baby. That's enough. Scram before I lose my temper. Uh-oh, hear that? We get in trouble just for talking. Hey, how about going to my place? No! We're going to play a game. I'll explain. If I say Mowgli says, you have to do what I say. If I don't say Mowgli says, you don't move. Got it? <laughs> Let's start. Mowgli says, raise your paw. Lower your paws. <laughs> Mowgli says, no one moves. Hurry! Go on, say it. Say Mowgli says, lower your paw. I can't keep my balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, who cares? Come on, Apu, let's find some fruit. Apu! Peter, wait! Hey, wait! You can't go like that! Wait! <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. Bagheera says this is no time to take a nap. <sighs> Untie us immediately. Hey, Chota, cats don't do this to each other. <laughs> Tricky says lower your paw and run. 
I'm too old for this sort of nonsense. Wait till I get hold of them. As soon as I get a paw free, I'll whack those rascals' heads together. <laughs> Once I get you, you won't smell like jungle lilies, believe me! <laughs> get out of here! This is my territory! <laughs> Smell dreadful. I can still eat you up. No one wicks car without risk. Not help me! Help! Help! What do we do now? Come to me, you stink bum. Oh, your eyes are heavy. Now your lids are closing. Help! Help! Tender meat wandering about the jungle. And here you are, trapped. Wait till I get free. You'll see what a shame it is. Mowgli will bring them all back to me. All I have to do is wait. And once I'm done with those tasty starters, it'll be your turn. <laughs> I'm fed up running after you. We're going back to the others. But we were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to eat mangoes without using your paws. <laughs> Let's see. Sheer corn! Say something to him. You're a tiger too. Uh, help us, Mowgli. Stay here. Mowgli says, don't move. And not a single sound. Let's see. Who shall I start with? Have you come to play with us, Shere Khan? You'll see. It's dead easy. Mowgli says, Climb up as high as you can! Last one on the ground loses! Shekhar loses! You lost! L lost! Vengeance will be dreadful. Next time I shall devour you one by one. <laughs> and so the giant crocodile had to return to the lake without the baby turtles. And he never ever came back again. Ah, here are your parents. Was everything all right? Yes, they were very, very good. Chota, big now. Big hunker. Of course you are, Chota. And no real show-off, like Masha. Good evening, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs> the little ones aren't here. I've brought the mangoes. A present? For those rascals? They're not so naughty after all. Carl was in the process of strangling me and they managed to set me free. <laughs> Enjoy your snack, Khajiit! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Tabaki, fast asleep, are you? You have no right to take this path. Catch me if you can. <coughs> oh, sorry, I forgot. You don't have wings. <coughs> I didn't manage to stop that filthy featherhead. What are you jabbering about, Jackal? Kalu is my guest. We are not to be disturbed on any account. So clear off, understand? Away with you. So, you can know all about an animal just by examining tracks in the forest? Amazing! Fur on a tree trunk, half-eaten fruit... Wait, I don't believe it! Look! A one-footed bird! Does that exist? Of course not, Banana Brain! It's a crane taking a nap on one leg! Ugh. Can't stay upright on one foot, Banana Brain! Tracks teach us many, many things, but there are also droppings! <laughs> Stop howling, you dummies! Poop tells us everything about an animal. What it eats, where it goes. Here, for example, notice these yellow seeds. Uh, they look like chickpeas? I'd say more like... curried chickpeas. This greedy fellow went to the village. <gasps> Hard cheese! Yes, indeed. Good observation. I told you, poop reveals all sorts of information. <laughs> we both have so much to gain. I don't eat squirrels, but her nest interests me. We'll be doing each other a favour. Hmm. I'll consider it. And even better, I'll find a way of delivering the man cub to you on the platter. <laughs> <laughs> How clever, Carl. I believe we'll do great things together. But, Master, he's... Lively, full of clever ideas. An excellent recruit. What about me? Am I not your most faithful servant? Your friend? My what? <laughs> I have no friends, and I have no need to justify myself to a jealous jackal. Oh. A little deer. Known as a fawn, dummy. Oh, Agni, what happened to you? Back off, hairless monkey! Are you the one who stole my nest? What's she talking about? Well, I don't know. It's as though she doesn't even recognize us. <laughs> Poor Agni is completely deranged. What could have happened to her? What if we followed her tracks, like in the lesson? Yes, to understand what happened. We can't leave her in this state. Hmm, practical work. Good idea. Let's see how you two get by on your own. Go ahead. Now, try to remember. Is your nest a long way away? In a tree? In a hole? By water? Do we know each other? <laughs> I am on a secret mission. It's you? The giant mountain squirrel! <laughs> 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 hey, that's a long face you have. I no longer have a single friend. Shere Khan doesn't need me. <laughs> Did you two have an argument? Kind of. He told me to get lost. How about joining our team? Uh, huh? Well, what do you think, Bagheera? Uh, We're on an investigation to help Agni find her nest. She's lost her memory completely. We could really use your amazing sense of smell. Oh, thanks a million. Ah, I mean, of course. Along with Bagheera's incomparable sense of smell. Together, we could solve this mystery. I can be on your team? I really can? Whoa, not so frisky. Concentration and silence are the secret to a successful investigation. Got it? See here? We're following the path Agni took. <laughs> Concentration and silence. <gasps> Droppings? Shh. What do you reckon, Baggy? A squirrel? 
Magni the squirrel. What a greedy little thing. Pine kernels, broken nuts, pomegranate seeds, and... Wait, what are these? Can you see them? You're right. That looks like... Now, children, be careful. These berries may look delicious. Never eat these berries. Do you hear me, Tabaki? They'll make you crazy. <gasps> of course. That's why Agni doesn't know where she is. She ate those berries. See that? A pomegranate. Like the seeds in Agni's droppings. Stuffed with blackberries. Huh? That means that someone actually wanted to... Well, well, this looks like a crow's feather, right? So it really is Agni's nest, and the thief is Kalu. Ah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, well, you should have said you so. You kept saying concentration and silence. Better make up your mind, you nutter, filthy bag of feathers. Friend stealer, I mean nest stealer. Mowgli, what a marvellous surprise. Mind telling me what you're doing in Agni's nest? She gave it to me as a gift. Why? Doesn't she remember? Poor little Agni isn't quite right in the head anymore. You gave her blackberries to make her lose her mind. So you could steal her nest. We'll check that out with Agni right now. We seem to have lost her. My wing! Don't move at all. Bagheera, his wing might be broken. Go and fetch Baloo. You're the fastest. Oh, I can't leave you here alone with these two. I don't trust him. It hurts too much. <gasps> You can't attack a wounded creature. Kalu, what are you? As I thought, the nest is superb. And here is your little two-footed meal served on a platter, as I promised. Now, you must keep your side of the promise, Shere Khan, and get rid of that Agni. What a fool I am. I got it all wrong. My so-called investigation. Agni was the bait. Where is my little appetizer? She's gone, and you'll never ah, find her! Here at last, Shere Khan, may I introduce your appetizer? You're far too gullible, Mowgli. That will be your downfall. <laughs> Agni is dead! <gasps> and you're the one who poisoned her! <laughs> yes, you! You ugly, feathery thing! That's quite a nutcracker beak you've got! <laughs> nutty, nutty, nutcracker! <laughs> That's how we realised that, in order to steal Agni's nest, Kalu had given her the berries. Yes, that would explain her condition. But the poison's effect will soon wear off. Well done. I'm proud of you. Dead? What kind of ploy is this, Kalu? You wanted to poison me? Is that it? You planned this right from the start, didn't you? All those tricks and flattery. You were planning on getting rid of me, were you? You wanted to kill me. I swear those berries are inoffensive. Well, that's what we're going to find out now. Go on, eat. No. Mowgli? But how? How did you... You're too gullible, Shere Khan. That will be your downfall. We'll see who laughs last. Tabaki! <sighs> you know, Baloo, without your lessons, we would never have solved this mystery. We got it all wrong, didn't we? We didn't have the slightest idea that Shere Khan and Kalu were working together. You're right. 
We didn't understand a thing. You're safe and sound. That's all that matters. Agni will get his nest back, and Shere Khan has learned a good lesson thanks to his underlings. <laughs> 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 For the last three nights, these bugs have been eating me alive, and I can't seem to catch them. Yes, well, me too. Something stung me. And you, Baloo? That's the beauty of nature. The sun sets, the moon rises, the little critters feed off the big ones, and for someone who understands this, a sting is like a little kiss. Thanks, Baloo, my philosopher friend, but I'm fed up with the wonders of nature. Hmm. These don't look like any insect bites I've seen. Mowgli, would you mind fetching some ginger roots to soothe poor little Bagheera's itching? <laughs> What's up, Ricky? You moving house? I'm not moving house. I'm moving away. I've had it up to here with being attacked every night. You're not going to let a few little bugs scare a big, strong fellow like you. I'm not scared. I'm leaving this hostile jungle that doesn't like nice guys like me. But everybody likes you, Ricky. Huh, you too? I wallow in the mud, I scratch against the trees, but nothing works. They attack all the same. Who's they? The monsters, the assassins, the bloodthirsty. You're right. Come on, we'll leave together. Don't be so hasty. With Baloo, we'll solve the problem. In fact, I'm going to pick some ginger root. That should relieve everyone. This isn't great, but it's not bad either. Oh, that feels great. Baloo, I thought of a trap for the insects. Want to see? Hmm. The sap from the banana leaf will trap any bugs that try to sting you. And that's how you plan to trap them? <laughs> I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. I mustn't fall asleep. <gasps> no! I fell asleep! Help! Oh. Help! Oh. Shere Khan! Tabaki! What are you doing here? And what happened to you? Is it something you ate that made you so tiny? This is our normal size. <laughs> That's funny. It's not funny at all. We're stuck here and it's not pleasant. So if you would kindly free us. Hold it. You mean you're not the real Shere Khan and Tabaki? We're the little people of the jungle. We were sent out by our leader. Quiet, you fool! Tabaki dares insult Shere Khan. Now that's something. Listen, young man, if you would kindly get us out of here, we'll all go our separate ways and... Wait a second. Are you the insects who attack us every night? Now he knows! We're done for. Shut up! It's a misunderstanding. For the last three days, you've been attacking animals in the jungle, and you call that a misunderstanding? Explain it to him. I don't want to die. You swear you won't hurt us? Promise. So, tell me why you're doing that. The idea is to force you to leave the jungle. I don't understand. Can't we live together? Our master won't allow it. He wants to be the only ruler in the jungle. A dictator. That's ridiculous. I'll go talk some sense into him. Where is he? Can you tell me? It's not a good idea to talk to our master. <laughs> what will he do? Attack me? I just want to chat with the little master of the jungle. You won't have time to chat. You'll die first. Really? Your little master will kill me. <laughs> Let me show you something. Try to move this rock. No. Ah. <sighs> oh. So, are you taking me to see your master? Okay. If you succeed in convincing our master to stop attacking you, frankly, I'm all for it. Show me the way. I'll take care of transportation. I'm scared. What if our master spied us and knows we're coming back with a giant? If that's the case, we must be very careful. He could have set a trap for the giant. <laughs> Baloo, is that you? Oh, this is incredible. I'm so happy. I don't know 
who you're talking about, and there is no reason to be pleased considering your fate. It's just, you look like my friend Baloo. I am not your friend. You are my prisoner. Ouch! But I've come here to make peace and find some common ground. <laughs> How dare you, evil giant! No one laughs in my presence. You shouldn't tickle me like that as well. What? Where? Who tickled you? Who? Sorry, Master. I was just sharpening my claws a little. I was just sharpening my claws a little? Do you want me to sharpen my claws a little on you? I didn't do it on purpose, Master. You didn't do it on purpose? This just gets better. You refuse to take responsibility? Perfect! Arrest her! You were having fun with the prisoner? Not at all. I just scratched his... Conniving with the enemy! <laughs> <laughs> you know what that will cost you. You can't condemn her just because she's tickled me. I'm certain you'd prefer her fate to yours, but maybe agonizing for hours suits you better. Let's be reasonable. We can talk this over. If you don't have a place in the jungle, I can make room for you. We don't need your permission. We're in charge now. We'll take what we want, and you will, one way or another, disappear. We are the lords of the jungle. That's a losing battle. You may have me, but there are all the others. I have my sources, you know, and some are already leaving the jungle. Enough talking with him. Let's get this over with now. You're as crazy as you are small. Say what you will. You haven't got long now because... <laughs> I'm locked up and you go free. That's not fair. That's because you're not very smart. You could have said you wanted him to suffer. We told Master that we brought him to the Forbidden City on purpose, so we could kill him. Because of you, I can't escape. It's not because of us. It's our Master. He's so cruel and bloodthirsty. We must get rid of him. He's gone too far. The Panther must go, and only the Giant can help us. But now that he's a prisoner, we're sure to fail. It's too dangerous. I give up. Only the giant can save me, and he can save us. You must help him break free. If you refuse before I die, I will tell the master you're traitors. You didn't tell me your leader was out of his mind. And he looks just like Baloo. By the way, I must warn you that our master has developed a venom, a very special venom. The venom drives you mad, and apparently after you've swallowed it, you think you're an ant! If someone had told me that Shere Khan and Tabaki would save me from Baloo... Because you think they can save you? I never really liked those two. I was certain they would betray us. Since they're so in love with their giant friend, we won't keep them apart. We'll make sure you remain very, very close. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. I'm too young to die. <laughs> After this frugal meal, you will try a new beverage. You shall discover the pleasures of being an insect. But I'd have to agree to open my mouth. That's not a problem. You'll open it, believe me. Don't worry. I'll keep my mouth shut. Tickle him! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save you! He's not his normal self, Master. I'm not going to swallow you! Hmm, you're right. He is acting strange, but that won't stop me from devouring him. <laughs> Calm down, Mowgli. We're here and everything's fine. And Minnie Baloo wasn't like you at all. Turn over. You and the others were all bitten by recluse spiders. I found a remedy, but you have to stop fidgeting. It was really crazy. Uh, Baloo, what are you spreading on me? Among other things, a crushed spider. But you said we were all bitten by spiders. And you're healing us with spiders? <laughs> well, yes. That's how nature works. 
We all have some poison and the antidote in us. And we all have many bad guys deep inside us too. If you tell me about your dream one more time, I think I'll show you the mini Bagheera within me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Wow! I had this strange dream. I was really tiny and Mowgli was an insect. <laughs> Come here! Where have you gone now? Do you really think you're going to find your son in a pile of peeling? <laughs> oh, so you think that's funny? Right. You're all going to clean this place up. Jump to it. <sighs> hey, you! Do you think that dozing's setting a good example? Do you believe that's the way you'll become the leader? It's a real pigsty here. We can't even find our children. <laughs> Jump to it. It's a real pigsty. <laughs> yes, that's it. Go on, laugh. You'll see that I'm the leader. You'll be laughing out of the other side of your faces. <laughs> Shh! Carla's been hanging around the cold lair for a while now, and Baloo's not here. I've just seen Tricky, and he was out on his own. We must tell Marsha. Um... Oh, my Langer! Don't do this, don't do that. I've had enough. Anger never results in anything good, my young friend. I get told off all the time back there. Pfft, I'm tired of it. For the sake of everyone, you must take care of the place where you live. Even cleaning up, you will see how much fun it can be. What are you doing here? Your mother's looking everywhere for you. Hello, Marsha. How are you? Don't you start annoying me with your... Oh. Cool down, Marsha. Wha what's happening? What? <laughs> I shout and scream, but no one obeys me. I don't know what to do next. If you wish, I could help you change that. And he's there strutting about and showing off. I swear to you, I don't recognize Mosha anymore. Maybe he bewitched her with his big dark eyes. Do you realize that he could become the leader? What? Langer with Masha? Leaders? Both of them? Well, they look to be very, very friendly. But I'm the one. Me. I'm the one who should take over for Marsha, not that flirt. We don't even know where he's from. Tricky! Tricky! Pfft. Your Tricky's not lost. I saw him. He's with Marsha and Lenga. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Calm and serenity. I'm as light as a feather. Huh? What? Carla's prowling around the area. We came to warn you, Marsha. What's this all about? Carla, here. I'm warning you with... Have you seen him? You've got to warn all the monkeys. I'll deal with Carla. We shouldn't hang around here. There's a shortcut, but with Tricky, it's too dangerous. Don't worry. I'll look after him and take him back. Do you think you'd be able to get rid of that Marsha and her new favorite, that Langer? I'd like to instill a bit of discipline into our tribe of noisy monkeys. Ah, a jungle finally rid of Marsha's barkings. Can you just imagine that? Screaming Marsha, her shouting so exasperates me. To discredit Marsha and that whippersnapper, you'll have to hypnotize Langer and a little monkey. And that's when I come in. I accuse Langer of stealing the kid, and I say that Masha was his accomplice. Then you secretly give me Tricky, I become hero, and bingo! Ha! The monkeys make me their leader! Get lost, Masha! Not bad, eh? Huh? What do you think? 
I get rid of Marsha for you, but what do I get out of it? Langer! You can keep him in a safe place for your next snack. Shake on it. <laughs> what do you think of my game of hide-and-seek? Aren't you a cute little thing? You shouldn't be afraid of Uncle Carr. You're such a nice monkey. Take him to my lair. to be surprised. I saw your dear Langer kidnap Tricky with my own eyes. You're in it with him. Admit it. Uh, what are you talking about? Shut up. What are you talking about? Langer is bringing Tricky back here. They won't be long now. What's more, we've seen Carla prowling around here and he's dangerous. None of that's true. Not only did that Langer kidnap Tricky, but the two-faced monkey wanted to reign with Macha. <laughs> Over all of us, that plotter. He's not even one of the Bander Law! Mosher and a gang must go! M me too? Yeah, yeah that's good that's right, right. Get lost. Get lost. You've all gone crazy! Stop quarrelling! Carla's the real danger. You've got to hide before it's too late! Hypnotized him. Oh, what a fool. It's all a plot. Car and Big Bandar, they're in this together. <gasps> Tricky! My handsome Langer, I knew you were innocent. Now you're all mine. I was so scared, and Big Bandar didn't even save me. I saw him, he was laughing with Car. Huh? Big Bandar was with Car, but. So that's it. Those two traitors joined forces to take my place. What about Langer? Didn't he do anything to defend you? Carl hypnotized him just like that. I can't remember anything that happened afterwards. Big Bandar's going to pay me for this. We'll soon see who's the boss. Your tribe is first priority. Have you forgotten about Carla? I just hope nothing's happened to Baggy. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to die. Spare my life. Here, take her instead. <laughs> Carla, so you thought you'd finished with me? Langer and that cute little monkey you promised me for getting rid of screaming Marsha. Well, they've both disappeared. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. oh. mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that 
feels better. You see, that's your problem. You don't know how to control your emotions. But I assure you, you can learn how to do it. So I sentence you to an intensive course with Master Langer. With him, you will learn diplomacy and how to be attentive. One day, perhaps, you will be capable of being the leader. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. You dirty traitor! <laughs> the man cub was afraid of nothing. However, he was wrong because the evil shadow had chosen him as a prey and was following him, licking his chops. Look out! The shadow's behind you! Go on, punch him in the muzzle! Run! Run! But the evil shadow was more silent than. than. than silence! and crueler than lightning that strikes blindly. The mere mention of his name caused heart attacks. The evil shadow means danger of death. Ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, the man cub is not completely out of danger yet. Yes, he is. He's saved because he's hanging out of the reach of the evil shadow. Yes, but under him is just empty space, a bottomless ravine, a hole towards the unknown. And then what happens? And then, eh... Uh, the liana should be breaking! Eh, uh, and then, yes, that's right, the liana is fraying and will soon break. Right, well, that's it. Next episode tomorrow. What? Oh, no, you can't do that. Yes, we can. We'll have the rest tomorrow. You've got to tell us the rest. We can't just stop there. Don't worry. The hero always wins. Right then. Good night. Ah! In... Where was I? Oh, oh come no, on! You can't do that! He's I fully like up and everything! What would be fun would be to really live the adventure. That way we could see straight away what is happening. Good idea! But who's going to play the hero? Well, I think that's obvious. Mowgli! No, no, I don't agree. There's a big difference between a story and reality. Why? I can climb a liana and hang over the void too. I've done it lots of times. I know, but I don't want you to take unnecessary risks. I should never have started all of this. <sighs> There's no risk. Come on, everyone. Let's find Eliana. Wait for me. I'm the one telling the story. It's not exactly thrilling. There's no danger. It's true that it's a bit... Uh... I must admit that it's pretty poor. What happens now? Where's the danger? It's fine like that. It's just how it is in my story. I've spotted a liana hanging over a real precipice. That'd be better. Let's go! There was nothing wrong with that liana. Ah, uh. oh, yes. That one's much better. Ugh. Go on, Baloo. Tell us about the man cub's exploits. Hmm, yes, well, right. Our hero was hanging over a ravine that was a little too deep, and he would do better to come back onto solid ground right away. No, he wouldn't. In the story, the liana was fraying. It's true that there's no real risk at the moment. What about if there was an evil bird who was pecking at the liana to make the hero fall? Ah, yes. Good idea. Go on, Darcy. What? Where should I go? Come and attack the liana with your beak. Why? So that Mowgli's in a bit of danger to make it more interesting. Oh, no. I can't do that. My beak's not made for it. I agree with her. There's no point taking unnecessary risks. The hero always wins in the end. That's what you said. Besides, it's just a role that you're playing in the adventure, Darcy. A character who's working for Evil Shadow. It's only pretending. If it's pretending, it's not real, so it won't hurt my beak. <laughs> Here I go! Rustering bananas! That bird's trying to kill me! 
Ah. That's enough! Be careful! Stop! I'm a happy woodpecker, just a bit cuckoo! The liana's going to break! Ah. Yes! Fabulous! Fabulous. Jungle foam! Mowgli is the champ! Now what? What do we do next? We go home! Oh no! What happens next? Hmm, well... The hero must face a terrible danger, a dance battle with the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> a dance battle? Do you want him to do a somersault too? But it's still a battle, a dance battle. Yes, but to find the monkeys, the man cub has to go through the corridor of death. The, the corridor, corridor of death? The corridor of death? That shouldn't scare your hero, should it, Baloo? No, oh, no. My hero's not a daredevil. <laughs> Mowgli, come back! I forbid you to go! Mowgli! Has anyone ever come out of there alive? No one. That's why it's such a bad idea, and why my hero would never take such a risk. Mm, that smells like manioc root. Yum, yum! Look out, Rana! There's another entrance on the other side. With a bit of luck, they'll come out there. Stupid jackal. If the man comes in the corridor of death, he'll escape me forever. Yes, but if he manages to come out of it, his last adventure will be to meet the evil shadow. <laughs> Who's the evil shadow? Who do you think it is, master? should have told that story without knowing how it ended, and I should have stopped Mowgli from acting like the hero. Yee-haw! Yeah! <laughs> I knew you'd make it! Well done, man-cub. Now there is only the last part of the story left, facing the evil shadow. No. The hero comes out of the corridor of death alive. End of story. Oh no, Baloo. It's weird ending the story like that. I've got to face the evil shadow. Maybe he's a bit right. At the moment, the ending's really flat. Come on, Baloo. One last challenge. It's your story anyway. We've got to know what happens in the end. <laughs> <sighs> OK, Mowgli. One final challenge or you'll never stop pestering me. So, you will have to find the magic coconut, the one that will help you beat the evil shadow. Finding a coconut is a really lame challenge. It would be better if Mowgli faced sheer, uh, the evil shadow. The coconut is the final challenge. If Mowgli finds it, he will have passed every trial, and that will be the end of the story. Ouch! Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunately, the hero has knocked out all his friends. And at the end of his quest, he finds himself face to face with the evil shadow. The evil shadow does not exist. It is true that the evil shadow is better known as Shere Khan. My poor Shere Khan, you are powerless against me. Look. 
I have the magic coconut. Be careful, Master. You never know. <laughs> We've got to save Shere Khan. He's choking. Uh, Master, which one was the magic coconut that you spat out? Don't ask me to tell you a story this evening, Mowgli. Huh? Oh. I really have to go now. It's going to be very hot. My old bones never make a mistake. Ooh. Boy, you're ready for the elephant cemetery. I'm an old wreck. <laughs> but not as bad as that rascal of a brother of mine. Portia, he must be at least 200 years old. <gasps> But he's still in good shape. I know I should have gone earlier, but when your memory starts failing, well, it won't be long before I leave. I haven't told the children. They won't even realize I've gone. <laughs> Hello, Gazzini. You're up and about early this morning. I was looking for you. Hattie went this morning. He's gone to see his brother. He's forgotten his birthday again. Better late than never, eh? And it just came at the right time. I wanted to use the opportunity to give him a surprise. Let me guess. You're going to celebrate your arrival at Sioni, is that it? Hattie has probably forgotten, but on that day he gave me a lotus flower. So, it will be a real surprise for everyone. I wanted to do it here in the classroom. What do you think? Excellent idea. Consider this your home, too. Oh. Who knows about it? Only Apu and Hita. I love surprises. As for Bagheera and Mowgli, I'll make sure they're not here. Uh... Uh-oh, be careful. There's no worse chatterbox than Darcy. Shh. <coughs> My poor Baloo. You should do something about it. Oh, you're right. I'm really not well. I'll send Bagheera and Mowgli to get me some time. <coughs> do you think she heard? All the jungle will know about my terrible illness by now. <laughs> no, but that's too easy. I can find everything. All right, Mr. Clever Panther. We'll see just how good you are. There. Who do you see here? Oh, easy. He just stole Marsha's bananas and is hiding in the classroom. Impressive. <laughs> <gasps> Blue, are you all right? Not too good. <coughs> I've got a really heavy cold. Do you think you could go and get me some time? The gourd's full of it. I checked yesterday. Yes, well, you need glasses, Mowgli. It's completely empty. Stop it. This really isn't the moment. <coughs> oh, but you really must go and get me some time. I'm sorry. I know it's a long way, but it might be contagious. Eh, uh, what? I'm scared stiff of illness. You ought to go with them to Baki. A time cure wouldn't do you any harm. <coughs> uh. Go easy on the time. You'll make yourself ill. It's didn't you know? Well, Hattie, uh, Blue, I'm not a witch. He's got a nasty cold for a hundred years at least. But it's too old. I'd never have believed it. He seemed fine and then, bang, he doesn't have much longer. It's me who's telling you. Blue just needs honey, time and rest, that's all. If I were you, I'd be worried. An illness that comes just like that with no warning. <sighs> we'll all get it. I'm telling you, and not just the old ones, either! That's enough now. Go and cheer up somewhere else. You're scaring everyone to death. Ah, OK. There's something really serious happening and no one cares. If that's the way it is, I'm 
going. Yeah, that's it, and good riddance. Don't come any nearer. And what's that colour? There's some kind of bug in the jungle. Baloo is ill, hearty too. I saw him leave on his last legs toward the elephant cemetery. Poor Gachini was in tears. Now what's all this about? Explain yourself. For a start, it's all true. It's the time that Bagheera and Mowgli went to get to cure everybody. I think it's an epidemic. And how do I know if all this is true? If you don't believe me, go and check. That's just what I'll do. And if those old crocs are really in a bad way, it'll be child's play to get rid of them for good. everything and he ran off as fast as he could. In which direction? If we know where Hati is, we can maybe arrive before Shere Khan. This morning, Hati took the track to the Blue Mountain. I saw him. When Gajini told Baloo, he said it was very serious. He hugged Gajini. It was so sad. Can you believe it? Hati in the Elephant Cemetery? But there's something not right. It's not the right direction. The Blue Mountain is where Hati's brother, Pasha, lives. He must have gone to visit him. The shortcut through the thorns. Shere Khan can't take it. He's too fat. We can maybe get to Hati before him. No, wait! You've got to stay here. Imagine that Shere Khan changes his plans and comes to attack Baloo instead of Hati. If Baloo really is ill, I couldn't do anything to stop him. I don't know what's going on anymore. What am I going to tell everyone? Nothing. You're coming with me. I don't want you telling things to the entire jungle, and I may have a mission for you. Look, it's all askew. So how about the cold? Did they believe it? They swallowed the whole story. We're too late. I knew it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Hearty. Hearty, wake up! <sighs> I'm fine, Mowgli. Let me sleep. So maybe it's not an epidemic? But I saw Baloo, who was all right, and then a second later fall ill. I just don't get it. Stop! The most important thing is Shere Khan. Are you sure that he's coming here? I saw him leave with my own eyes. He wants to check that Hearty is really dead. I think I know how to convince Shere Khan it's true. Pretty good, right? But if your plan works, Sher Khan will rush to the friendly area. Yes, that's my plan exactly. Take that to Baggy. He's the only one who can understand it. Quick! Oops! Look out, chatterbox! <laughs> Don't worry, Hattie isn't dead. Mowgli too. Uh, neither. I'm looking for Bagheera. What are you talking about? Are they in danger? Where? Aren't you ill anymore? He was pretending. But why did you do that? Uh, Bagheera! I'll explain everything later. But first, we've got to hide. Uh, uh, Shere Khan, please help me. Uh, I don't want to die all alone like Hati. Take me back to Baloo. You must be joking. So I will be contaminated too. As for the sick old bear, I'll make him into mincemeat. The chatterbox was right. All my enemies finished. Wiped off the face of the jungle. The kingdom is all mine. Anybody here? We're on, so I can tell them the good news. <laughs> Acclaim your new and only lord. Is this your kingdom? It's full of sickness. Everyone is dead. <gasps> Scoundrel! It's Hottie's ghost! Who are you to sow trouble? 
Gargle, the kingdom of the dead! Oh! Ah. All right, everyone. All clear. The tiger's gone. You can come out now. I'm sorry about all these secrets. We just wanted to give Hati a surprise. I never imagined that it would put you in danger. Without you, I'd never have been able to warn everyone of the danger. But just a minute. Without you, all those rumors would never have existed. <laughs> I lied as well. In fact, I didn't go to see Pasha. Oh, you didn't forget. <laughs> 